everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and this is going to be a little bit of a different video than what you're all used to. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of this kind of vlog style video. Hopefully it's something you guys are going to enjoy. You can always let me know in the comment section. If you absolutely hate it then I'll stop doing them. I'm going for one week with my dad to the Isle of Man to watch the TT motorbike racing. The Isle of Man is a small little island off the west coast of the UK mainland. There's about 85,000 people live there and it's about 30 miles long. So it's a very small little island, but it's full of history and culture. It's an amazing, amazing place. I absolutely love going over there, even when the TT is not taking place. But when the TT is taking place, like it is this week, it is an absolutely fantastic experience. The atmosphere, everyone is buzzing. The locals love it. The tourists love it. It's just fantastic. So like I said, me and my dad are going out there for a week. I'm going to be filming our adventures over there, I guess. Uh, we're going to be going in my classic mini. Those of you who've been here for a while on the channel may have seen my mini. Those of you who are new to the channel may not know about it, but I have done videos in the past when I was learning to drive. I actually bought the car when I was 16 years old. I learned to drive in that car and I still own it to this day. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a tour around the island, looking at some of the attractions there, like the Laxi Wheel. And of course, we're gonna be watching the TT bike race. So I'm gonna be filming some of that for you as well. So I thought it'd be nice to do this little bit of a chat before we actually go. Right now is the evening before we're due to set off. I'll try and get my dad on camera a little bit as well. He's um, a little bit camera shy, doesn't always like going in front of the camera and talking. So I'll do my best to try and get him in as well, but I think it's gonna be mainly him filming me. But that's gonna do it for this little segment. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all very soon. We've made it to the ferry. This is my dad. You might have seen him in the previous videos. We're in the mini, as you can hopefully tell. Um, we're boarding at, what time we're boarding? About quarter past two? Yeah. Well, the ferry's due to leave at quarter past two, so we'll be boarding about one. And it's half past 12 now, so. Got a little bit of a wait. I'll update you again once we're on the boat. We'll go out on the deck and have a little look at the view. You should proceed to Assembly Station 1 in the main Materia Lounge on Deck 7. Or Assembly Station 2 in the Niarbo Lounge. We've made it on the boat. It's here as well. You're enjoying the view. It's very nice. We're up uh, on the deck. I don't know if it's going to be a bit windy on the camera. Don't know if you'll be able to hear everything I'm saying. Hopefully you can. Um, but yeah, it's lovely weather. The sun is shining. Got my sunglasses on. Um, it's, how long is it? It's like four, three, three and three quarter hours on the ferry. So long crossing. We've been going about half an hour now. Uh, we're just steaming out of Heesham. It's behind us. So uh, yeah, I'll update you again when we land in the Isle of Man, I guess. Then we're gonna, it's about an hour's drive to the accommodation uh, along the coast, which will be lovely. We've just had um, four, and, no, what was it? Three and three quarter hours, nearly four hours ferry ride. Uh, we're sat in the car now ready to disembark any minute. We enjoyed the steak pie, we had a bit of steak pie on board, we played a bit of cards, um, but yeah, just getting ready to disembark. Uh, we'll try and film it for you and update you, I guess, when we get to the accommodation. Bye. Here we go. Very Douglas, very bumpy in this All little way. We are on the Isle of Man. I want to drive one of them things. So, we've not actually made it to the accommodation yet. We've just been into the shop 
to get some stuff for a barbecue tonight and they've actually got practice you can hear it right now it's going on so we're gonna go and watch a little bit um, before we go to the accommodation Um, today is our first full day in the Isle of Man watching um, a bit of practicing tonight uh, there's no actual uh, racing going on today I think the first day of racing is Sunday today is Thursday so Thursday Friday Saturday they have practice racing in the evening so they close the roads that they race on around 6 p.m. and they have practicing until 9 p.m. Um, this is our accommodation. I'll give you a little tour. Uh, it's very nice. Um, we've stayed here before. The lady that we're staying with uh, is a friend of the family. Uh, my dad's been coming here for about 10 years. Um, but I think the plan today is to go down to the pit, which we are in Ramsey, which is at the north end of the island. The pits are in Douglas, which is sort of at the south end, southeast of the island. And we're going to go check out some of the bikes down there. We can see all of the pit crews. Uh, we can watch them preparing the bikes. They've all got merchandise, so we'll probably get a little bit of merch. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a heads up of the plan today. And obviously you'll see what follows. Well, we're driving down here. I thought whilst we're on the way, I'll give you guys a little bit of a heads up about the car. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Some of you already know, you might have seen the car on the channel, but for those of you who don't know, it's a 1975 Leyland Mini Cooper. Uh, it's got a one litre four cylinder engine, transverse engine. Um, makes about 35 horsepower so not a lot but it's putting out about 60 foot pound of torque so it's quite a torquey little engine for the size weighs about half a ton so um, yeah it gets up if you put your foot down but it's not going to be breaking any uh, speed records but it's a lovely little car I've owned it for the past five years I learned to drive in this car and um, it's going to be staying in the family for quite a while I think Right, we're just coming down the um, pit row, actually. You can see the grandstand on our left, um, time board on the right. So we're actually on the TT circuit now. Obviously, it is just a normal road every day today. Um, this evening, it will be closing around six for the racing. But it's, it's quite cool driving my own car down pit row. We're in the pits, we're actually by the dyno truck, which is just here. We've got a bike ready to go in. Um, all the race bikes lined up down here. A few race bikes, they're just dynoing one right now, I think. And uh, they're just warming this one up, ready to go in, so quite cool. Dino in. Uh, we're down at the Honda pits now. Got working on a few bikes behind us there. Um, we got bike number one. Not that. <laughs> That's a little uh, thing. Um, 
So yeah, we'll have a little look what they're doing in here. behind me here is uh, Peter Hickman, um, his uh, racing team. Um, he's just set the fastest uh, speed on the circuit, um, 200, over 200 miles an hour this year, which is amazing. So we'll go have a little look in his pit. You got a lot of money um, you get this it's um, sponsored by Feho uh, that's her logo up there BMW um, and she has all her own seating and everything um, all the race can eat in there the whole crew and they'll get dinner and everything very top-notch very exclusive um, this is Dean Harrison this time um, Kawasaki Racing, We've got the lovely uh, blue and the green. He's actually just down here. That's him, that's Dean Harrison right there. He's signed a few autographs and whatnot. So um, we won't go and disturb him. But yeah, he's just, that's him right there. Went, um, we just went to see Michael Dunlop racing and he was actually lying on the ground fitting the exhaust back on his bike. They had it fully stripped down um, and Michael Dunlop himself was fitting um, the exhaust back on the bike which was really cool to see. So yeah, we're going to have a little look at some more sidecars I think. So they have a lot of um, bikes, normal bikes that I've been showing you already. But we're going to have a little look in here now. This is the Birch Hall Brothers and they're racing sidecars. So um, they do have sidecar racing here in the TT as well. Um, Birch Hall Brothers are one of the top uh, teams. So we'll have a little look in their pit. Um, they've got the uh, car completely stripped down at the moment. So we're just up on the grandstand, grandstand's behind me here, um, we just had a lovely ice cream, uh, sat here just in the sunshine, it's an absolutely cracking day here down in Douglas. Um, down here, that's Pit Row, you can see all of the uh, little stations, they've each got their own little like filling doohickeys. And then that is the start finish straight down here where that car is just going now. Uh, normal day to day like it is now when the roads are open it's just a normal road another cool thing in the pits behind me here is the winners enclosure there's no racing on today so unfortunately we're not going to see anyone in the winners enclosure but they usually come into the winning enclosure after the race and do a big smoky burnout which is fantastic so i thought whilst we're here i'll show you it um nothing happening today but since we're here it's nice to see so we've had a little look around the pits um we went down to douglas front uh, which is where we are now in fact um so we're just having a little wander down douglas front we had a little look in the shops down here um there wasn't really that much um 
So we're just going to enjoy this and then I think we're going to head down to Laxey for a little bit. Um, have a little sit on the beach down there and then we're going to go find somewhere to watch a bit of practicing tonight. So we're walking along Douglas Front and who's that? The Bee Gees. They were all born here in the Isle of Man. We've got these uh, statues of them on the front. Um, it does tell you down there, Bee Gees, so it's quite cool. We're, we've left Laxey, we're heading to Craignabar. My dad knows a sneaky little uh, shortcut up to Craignabar. He's actually driving right now, so he wanted a little bit of a drive. And we've got our own parking space. We've got our own parking space, apparently. Um, the roads up here, absolutely lovely. We're sort of on the highlands uh, right now. It's absolutely lovely. It's not very easy for me to show you, but look at that. There's a sail ship in and it's steaming out. Right, we've just parked up. That is Craigna Bar. Uh, my dad's just gone ahead and set up all the seating. So I'm just going to meet him now. We've got a little radio in my bag here um, and I've got my speaker so when the practicing is on and the racing um, a lap takes about 17 minutes um, so obviously you're waiting for about a quarter of an hour roughly to keep a track of where the bikes are they play it on the radio you might be able to hear the grandstand have the radio on Manx radio you can tune in from anywhere in the UK and it will tell you where the bikes are on the course so you know when to expect the bikes coming. Once again, we're here in the accommodation. Absolutely lovely. Um, it's the second full day uh, here in the Isle of Man. Last night, we watched a little bit of practice. The roads closed at six. We went up to Craigna Bar, which is up on the mountain. Yesterday, as you saw, we went in the pits. I bought myself a Peter Hickman t-shirt. So I'm wearing that today. I thought it'd be kind of fitting. Uh, the plan for today is roads are closing at 12 o'clock, so at dinner time today. We're not really going to be watching any practice today. Uh, we're going to go and head down to Peel, which is on the west coast of the island. And that is actually very exciting because for those of you who know the Peel P50, if you played Forza Horizon, you might know the car. That is where Peel Engineering actually started. So we'll go there, we'll go and chill on the beach for a bit. There's an awesome cafe in Peel, so I think we'll probably stop there for some dinner. Uh, so we're going to head out in the Mini in just a minute. And uh, I'll try and do a bit of a talk on the drive as well. Um, just to keep you guys updated. One of the things that I wanted to do on this trip was an entire lap of the track over the course of a week in the Mini. So we're going down Sulby Strait now. They've just re it in the last year since we've been. Um, yeah, it's a lot less bumpy, which is good. The riders reckon they're picking up over a second a lap, um, partly due to the resurfaced uh, road. So we're actually going the wrong way. Um, the riders, when they're riding the circuit, are actually going the opposite direction. But we're still doing a little bit of the circuit. Yesterday we did the start finish straight. Today we're doing a little bit of Sulby straight on the way to Peel. And then one day we want to go over the mountain. We'll try and do a little bit of that as well. 
So we're on the way to Peel. Peel is uh, just behind me. You can't actually see Peel, but you can kind of see it. Um, this is one of the old railway bridges. There used to be a railway that ran from the main line, um, went across this bridge all the way down to Peel, which is behind me. Um, so we stopped just back here. Minnie's just up there. We thought we'd stop and get a nice little photo. And then way down here in the background is the Point of Air, which is the most northern tip of the Isle of Man. So that's quite cool. You can see Peel one way, Point of Air the other way, and there's a nice old railway bridge behind us. We have made it to Peel. It's quite windy down here. That's the Irish Sea out there. We're just walking along Peel Front right now. And if I stop and spin around, we've got Peel Castle behind us. This is Peel Promenade that we're walking along. There's Dad. Um, there's a nice little cafe down here. And just around the corner is the Peel um, factory where they used to make the P50. So we'll go and have a little look at that. We're here at the home of the Peel P50. This little plaque behind me is pretty much all that remains of the original um, workshop. Um, but it says Peel is uh, the original pioneers of glass fibre technology. And uh, this, if we're looking right down here, was the original plant where they made the Peel P50s. Which is really cool to see here in Peel. It still exists. Sadly, all that remains is this little plaque. Um, but it's nice that they've kept that there. So one of the other attractions in Peel, which is really cool, um, is this little museum full of old motorbikes. It's in this like old um, tunnel. And uh, it's free entry. Um, they just run on donations. But we're passing by, so I thought I'll show you. And it's really cool. Some of the bikes they have in here are like super rare as well. Um, this one down here, six cylinder honda cbx very very rare very nice bike they sound lovely but it's really cool to see things like this um like i said free entry so if you're down in peel come and have a look so you join me once again down near the beach this time we're in the very southern tip of the island so we're down at the calf of man which is just over here it's a little island just off the coast of the mainland um, right at the southern tip and I don't know if you can see just here behind me there's loads of seals swimming in the water um, just over on these rocks here there's quite a few actually um, I'll try and video some of them and like overlay them so you can actually see but yeah it's quite cool they have seals down here at the calf of man it's absolutely lovely sunshine still um, so we're just doing a little bit of a tour of some of the uh, beaches and stuff today. Been up to Peel already. But right now we're in the Sound Cafe, which is at, still at Calf of Man. Calf of Man's just over there where I was talking to you before. But look at this cafe, it's absolutely fantastic. The view is lovely. We're going to have a, a lovely little scalp. So we've just been down to um, Calf of Man, which... You can still just see, that's just right there behind us. Um, right on top of the mountain here at the south end of the island. Thought I would show you, Mini behind us, but I would, thought I would show you a little bit. Don't know if you can quite see it, but just here, there's a lighthouse that sticks out and that was actually Jeremy Clarkson's lighthouse. He doesn't own it anymore. The airport is actually just right here. A private plane literally just flew over as well and uh, landed there. So we do have an airport in the Isle of Man as well. We're just going past the airport. They do have an airport, as I said earlier, in the Isle of Man. Here we go. So that is the entrance over there to the uh, airport. Obviously, you can't see a lot of it here because it's all sort of hidden but there's some of the buildings you can see that is part of the Manx airport in the Isle of Man and I believe we've just gone past as well um, there we go Ronald's International Airport or Ronald's Airport so for those of you who 
you've never been to the Isle of Man, just to uh, show you, they do have KFC here and they do have Starbucks coffee. There's a Starbucks right there. There we go, McDonald's in the Isle of Man. So this morning we did a little bit of the track from uh, over Balath Bridge. That was fantastic. We're coming back from Douglas heading towards Ramsey and we thought we might as well come down the west coast this time. We've been down the coast road a few times. But all over the TT circuit they have these kind of signs they've put up. So we're coming into Laurel Bank right now. Um, they put them up especially for the TT so when the roads are open like they are right now people like ourselves who are riding around the course know where they're at which is quite cool it makes commentating on it for me like right now a lot easier this is a prime location for viewing right here this is black dub uh, black dub is actually on the right in a minute uh, we've actually not come up to it yet but yeah, that corner there is fantastic for watching. Here's another one of the signs up ahead. Uh, can't quite see what it says. Yeah, so this is Black Dub that we're just coming past now. That is the Black Dub. It's uh, like a nightclub, basically.